This week, spring is in the forecast and we have custom designed shoes from Shop with DC. Then, it's Nashville spicy chicken treats with a Texas twist from Clutch City Cluckers. Plus, it's local Louisiana hip hop tunes, but with a positive intent and purpose. Then, it's current culture pop art and flying acrobatics from the amazing Art Expo and the Lift Aerialist, bringing you all things for your entertainment, both here and worldwide. This is my scene TV. Welcome to My Scene TV, your home for all things entertainment. I'm your host, Natalie Templer. It's a hot 2024 summer here in Louisiana, but enjoying life is all about balance, right? So, today's episode is all about food, art, and songs. Just a few great things that help make this heat and humidity be that much more bearable. We've got custom shoes, spicy foods, hand-drawn pop art, hip-hop music to make a difference and even acrobats. So yes, this episode is packed. So let's start strong with custom designed shoes, made to your exact specifications. We're going to shop with DC, right here and now on my scene TV. custom sneaker artist. Um, why I do it? Because it's fun, I guess. But not nah, seriously. Um, why I do it? A friend of mine showed me how to do it. And one day he was like, man, you should help me. So he gave me a couple bucks to help him. And I made like $75, like two, three hours. I was like, man, you know, sitting around clowning with my friend made 75 bucks. And I started getting more interested in it. And it got to the point where um, my customers started hounding me because I couldn't get to the product because I was working. So I ended up calling my mom, like, Mom, I think I'm about to quit my job. And she was like, no, don't do that. Not yet. You know, you just you started working. You got a, you know, you got a good job. Say, well, just wait till you pay off some stuff. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to listen. I'm going to wait. I went to work the next day and quit. <laughs> I had a shoe that, was, that went viral on Instagram. Mm -hmm. It was at like a million and five views at the time. And I was getting a lot of, well not a lot, I was getting a few, you know, celebrity hitting me up, like Terrell Owens, I did a pair of shoes for him, T.O., he hit me up just randomly, hey my guy, size 14, how much? And it was like, okay, I'm screaming at the house, so I had to kind of bring it back down and take, take the order. Yeah, I do any pair of shoes, I do a pair of golf shoes, but yeah, always Nike, you know. Because you know, the last time we deal with a lot of schools, I have did a lot of professional athletes, I work with colleges. My first question when they want to book you is, when do you need it by? And that kind of starts the conversation where I can do the pricing because, like I said, you know, I have, I have to work on them back to back to back to back. So, And I schedule myself where I can fit stuff in the middle, you know, too. So I did the King of Endymion for the ball. He called me and he just hit me up and was like, hey, man, um, you know, I need some shoes done. I seen your page. I like your shoes. The only thing is, you know, I want to come down and meet you. So. He told me that, um, you know, it was, I need to do it in two days, too. It was like a rush job. So I didn't really want to take the job because I knew it was going to be an expensive job to do in two days. I, I, the opportunity to me was, you know, a blessing. So, um, you know, I looked out for him pretty good. And he actually invited me, but he invited me to um, purchase with him. Like I said, mostly just building connections. Like I said, um, the, the guy that showed me, Southwall Custom Creation, that's his page, he showed me. Between the both of us, we got over 100,000 followers on social media, and um, we built up contracts with Tulane and a couple other 
people. So, and those are every year. That's, I don't, we don't have to call them and say, hey, you need some shoes. No, they call him like, hey, they call him say, hey, need these shoes done. He called me, so. Um, mainly, just like I said, just securing it more for him. But it's like, you know, my goal is to work for him. What he do with it, it's completely up to him. And I'm definitely gonna be here to mentor him and okay, put him in the right direction, but I'm never gonna like, you know, when I say I wanna work for him, he gonna be the boss. Like, I wanna just be a consultant and just, you know. Also, I was gonna transfer like doing the shoes to making clothes. Like, I wanted to start making t-shirts, like a brand for myself. I get to reach you. Okay, my Instagram is um shop underscore with underscore DC. My Facebook is Freddie Patterson. Um, it's gonna say sneaker customizer next to my name. Um, my website is www.shopwithdccustoms with an S. You can reach me at any one of those. I mean, just for the most part, I just wanna make people aware that we do exist. Cause a lot of people need what we do and don't know we exist. And like I say, it's basically that we're here. So um, I'm glad, I'm grateful for this opportunity cause you know, it definitely lets me put it out to more people. You know, just about us, because a lot of people simply don't know we exist. Are those shoes incredible, or what? And no, it's not just tennis shoes that Freddie can customize. All type shoes are welcome and can benefit from the DC touch. Freddie even designed some Mycene exclusives that we'll showcase on a later episode. But don't wait for us. Hit him up for some personalized kicks of your own. And when we come back, we're heading to Dallas for some amazing art, then it's back home to enjoy some complex acrobatics. That's up next as my scene TV continues. And in the meantime, make sure to subscribe, follow, and share our official My Scene TV page. Then, come browse our 14 seasons of all things worldwide entertainment for your scene. Subscribing is just one small click for you, but it means the world to us. Every now and then out Ty Larson checks in from our Mycene TV Dallas branch with some incredible event. This time it's incredible pop art from the traveling Amazing Art Expo. Then we're back home for a short visit to see some mind-blowing lift aerialist acrobatics. This is Mycene TV. Hello family, how y'all doing? This is Ty Larson with My Scene TV Dallas. Right now I'm at the Amazing Art Expo and I have a great opportunity to speak with John who actually is the man behind all of this. One of them, yep. One of which. One of which. <laughs> kind of give my, my, my audience out there an yeah. idea of how did the Art Expo start? Where did the, the brainchild come from? And Oh, that's that's a long story, but I'll tell you, um, we started doing uh, uh, some of experimenting a little bit with the traveling of the artists and taking them on tour, but it really got big after um, COVID, when uh, after COVID, everybody was anxious to leave their homes and go have fun. And, uh, naturally. Naturally. <laughs> and uh, myself and my business partner represent, are the agents to some of the nationally most recognized artists in the pop culture world. So, for example, we have Christopher Clark, who's behind us over here. Uh, he's actually Lucasfilm's number one selling artist. You can see he's actually adding paint embellishments to a Star Wars Battle of Hoth painting as we speak. Uh, and we take him and a couple other artists that are really well known in this world um, on tour to meet the collectors, uh, as not just a um, hello, but also to sign their artwork. And as I mentioned, if somebody gets a canvas, they turn it into their own original by adding paint. So no two are alike, which is really cool. Yeah, so um, so that's something that we do. We really take these guys around tour to different cities throughout the nation. Uh, we love Texas. We do. We always do Dallas, Austin, and Houston. And uh, yeah, we just have a really good time. People love it. It's free. So it's kind of like a Comic-Con, only instead of having a bunch of different vendors, we've got three main of the top artists. When I go to Comic-Cons, I 
I love Comic Cons, but I get a little bored sometimes, and I start to kind of see. There's only so many Funko Pops you can see at one time. Right, right, right. And even sometimes <laughs> the artists, you know, you, you, sometimes I recruit from there, but we're very fussy over the artists that we bring in. Um, and so sometimes it can get tiring. So we like it here where it's free admission. People get a free print. Free, that's always good. Free is great, and people love that now. <laughs> And they, you know, come and look at the art, and honestly, a lot of people leave with art right. in their hands. Right. So it works out really well. And I think it also is cool to, to tell them that the, about the prints that they get out front. Yeah, yeah. Um, we basically tell people if they share the event on um, Instagram or social media, we'll give them a free print. But honestly, when they come to the door, we'll give them a free print anyways. Where we're, we. We like it when people come in and they already see not only is the event free, but they're going to leave with something no matter what without even having to pay for anything when they get a free print. So the, the national tour, how often do you, would you be here in Dallas? You know, about once a year. Once where there's, a year. there's a lot of cities we like to hit, so uh, we'll hit Dallas at least once a year. Dallas, Austin, Houston, we always hit those once a year. They can follow us on AmazingArtExpo.com. That has that always has a list of our schedule. So yeah, it's very simple, AmazingArtExpo.com. So yeah, they can always see what, what our next city is going to be. And like I said, we're shooting for Austin next. I haven't set a date yet. I got to get to work when we get back home. We appreciate you, appreciate your time. Oh, I appreciate uh, your time. Appreciate you giving the information out to my people out there. You guys have that information. You guys keep track of it. It's a great event. I'm having a great time. We need you to be here next time. It's Ty Larson signing off. I'm Christopher Clark. And I'm Brad Pitt. And you're watching My, my Scene, Scene TV, TV Dallas. Dallas. Booyah! <laughs>
a DJ and music producer from North Baton Rouge who's using his life experiences to help bring peace and a musical positive vibe to our capital city. Let's meet him now. Here on my scene. This is My Scene TV, and you're here with the host, with the most, Miss Parker, Miss Parker. Now, you have to say it twice for it to sound real nice. Today, we have a special guest, Mr. Derrick Johnson, the DJ with the DJs. Now, you have to say that twice for it to sound real nice. How you doing today, D? I'm good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. so. It's good to have you here. Now, I know you've been on My Scene TV before, but you had so much going on, we had to bring you back. <laughs> the last one was with uh, Miss Portia Madrid. Hey, Portia. So, for those who don't know, I'm going to run it down like Shannon Sharp. Now, you are a serial entrepreneur. You are the owner operator of Soup Unit Savage Life Entertainment Company, of course, the record home to Webby, Trill Young Savage, Trey Savage, as well as a slew of other artists. Um, you have the Lifestyle Magazine. You have a collaboration with Bully the Bull. You are one of the co-owners to DJ's Club Elite. You're booked and busy. How did we even get a hold of you? <laughs> That's dope. Uh, I, I didn't really... <laughs> That was dope, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Shannon Sharp, I gotta yeah. give you your one too. Shay Shay, hey. So you do a lot of management, A&R, and distribution, but currently you are flooding the streets with the top yellow, stop the violence, stop the killing in the city campaign. Can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, I mean, well, uh, the top yellow, stop the violence campaign, it's, uh, it's not just me. You know, I have a team of individuals all of them are great at what they do. And uh, yeah, I mean, here I am, you know, a street evangelist and I love what I do. I love my my work, what, that's what some people call it, but I love just being able to create. And uh, I mean, again, here we go. Um, so one thing I'm gonna tell you uh, about you, Derek, I wanna tell the people, you are very laid back, but you speak so loudly and I love it. Another thing I want you to tell the people is about the podcast. Yeah, ClickHouse Podcast, you know, it's, it's a platform for underground artists. Uh, I'd rather deal with underground artists. Well, I, now, I don't think, I know that um, underground business is needed. You know, we just really opened up this door to our artists this year. You know, mm -hmm. I just moved back to Baton Rouge um, about six months ago. So, you know, if you want to tap in and uh, gain some opportunities to meet the right people that's doing the right thing, doing this thing right. Right. Uh, holla at me. All right, now we didn't held you up long enough. I know you're about to fly out and go somewhere. But tell the people, let the people know how to get in touch with you, give them that, your social media. Yeah. Give us that. Super unit, super unit, S U P A underscore unit on all platforms. Like I said, you know, Google me. We're going to make it do what it do. And I'm going to have you on speed dial. You all yeah, right with me. For sure. And this is My Scene TV. Until the next time, I am your host with the most. Miss Parker, Miss Parker, you got to say it twice for it to sound really nice. Boo! From videos to parties and community events to help our youth, Derek's working to have his hand in all things to make Louisiana better and safer for us all. Reach out to him to help make your parties that much hotter or for your community events designed to make a difference. And when we come back, it's time to sear some taste buds with Nashville hot chicken, done Texas style. It's Clutch City Cluckers when my scene returns. Since I'm your faithful AR, host, I can't eat or even taste the tasty meal our own Crystal Parker is about to enjoy. But if you see what Clutch City Cluckers has to offer, you'll probably want to try it for yourself. So let's get a look at all those delicious choices right now on my scene. 
but could you guys please write in and let me know how good it tasted. Hello, hello, hello. This is My Scene TV, and you are here with your host, singer Crystal Parker. Now, that's Miss Parker, Miss Parker. You have to say it twice for it to sound real nice. And I am here at Clutch City Cluckers with Nicole. Now, Nicole is a cashier at Clutch City Cluckers. Nicole, tell us about Clutch City Cluckers. It's the first location in Baton Rouge out of the eight trucks we have. Also, we have we have wings, we have tenders, we have the best spicy Nashville chicken. We we have spice levels which are mild, medium, hot, hot, extra hot, clucking like it's hot. Everything is dryable for the tenders, for the shrimp, for the wings. Not a lot you got to say, and I got to break it down for the people. Okay, so you say Nashville chicken? Yes, we have Nashville chicken. We have what makes it Nashville chicken? The spices. And I see y'all have different names for y'all chicken, for y'all sandwiches, <laughs> like it's clucking like it's hot, cheesy buns, juicy clucking Lucy, juicy clucking Lucy. <laughs> so tell us how to uh, follow you. I see y'all have over 2 million likes. Uh, the barcode, they're in front of the trucks and you can get us on everywhere. But what if they're not here at the truck? Well, they can find us at Club City Cluckers on Instagram and on TikTok. So we give you the option for the sandwiches. You can try, well, you can try one tender, two tenders. If you eat a lot, you, if you eat a little bit, we got you. We got the small and large for the loaded tender fries also. Oh, wow, and I see y'all have sky floats? Yeah, they're amazing. So what is a sky float? Well, it's, it's a um, combination. Let's say if you get the, the Mexican float, it's a Mexican Coke, which is the glass Coke, with vanilla ice cream. If, we get the, if you get the root beer float, vanilla ice cream with root beer. But they're pretty good. I love them. Sounds tasty. It's going to be good for the summer, too, because you know it's going to be a hot one, y'all. It's going to be a hot summer. <laughs> and it's going to be some hot chicken. I mean, yeah, hot chicken. Also, we got little Biscoff. We got Oreo, Reese's Puff. They, they cater. They deliver. They got it going on. They have all the hot spices. They're making me hungry. <laughs> all righty. Well, this is my scene TV, and we are out. Damn, all that food looked bloody good, even to me. And though I can't eat any, at least not yet, right? You all can right now. Reach out through their website or just visit them right by LSU's North Gates. But now, it's time to get to your phones, tablets and laptops because it's social media time. Visit our website and like and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Vimeo and Twitter. Plus, follow view and share full episodes and segments on our YouTube page. Let us know how much you love us, or even if you want to be on the show. We want to profile your bands, businesses and venues, but we need to know where you are, right? So, reach out to us now. We're closing out with a beautiful song from Princess Shaw. And until next time when we bring you all things for your scene, I'm Natalie Templer, and this is my Scene TV. And in the meantime, make sure to subscribe, follow, and share our official MyScene TV page. Then, come browse our 14 seasons of all things worldwide entertainment for your scene. Subscribing is just one small click for you, but it means the world to us.